Hello everybody, this is Tyler from the Pocket, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Now, this is going up the same day because, uh, I forgot to record yesterday. New York. In this episode, we're going out to the Blue Shell and hopefully making our way to Koopa Fortress. That's, that's about it that I can say right about now. Uh, the one thing I can say is that these fuzzies... They're not that bad to guard against. I do have occasional problems with them. I'm not going to read the text. I do have occasional problems with it, but to be honest, if you just listen for the sound cue, you do a whole lot better. I say that as I immediately fail to do it. I was closer that time, I know that for sure. Probably should. I, I I don't I don't even know. I'm trying to. F nope, too soon again. I can tell when I do it too soon. I'm trying to remember the sound cue. That's the thing. But as I was saying, I was gonna say I probably should crop the uh the borders. That's what I'm gonna get soon. I should probably should crop the borders on the video. I'm probably going to do that in editing, and then the next time, I'm going to do it, uh, in OBS itself. Because, yes, I use OBS to record this. Me York, me York. Come get it if you can. Yeah, yeah. Time for one of the greatest things that you can do. It is a sliding puzzle. this one what you kind of have to do is look at the very middle and then just try to keep track of the uh a blue collar in your peripheral vision it's it's hard to explain it but if you try doing it you can see what i mean because it's not that hard because if you look directly at the middle you get the york Francis York Morgan. <laughs> you got me twice? Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. Just pay attention in the very middle, and if you see, uh. Just pay attention to the very two middle ones. And if you see, uh. Let's say it's on the right of the middle one, the right middle. If it heads to the left, and then it doesn't head back to the right, it's on the very left. It only really works for four. If it goes to like, uh, like six, it's more difficult. So, five could also work too. It's on the very left. See what I mean? <laughs> I give uncle here. Take the stupid shell. Got Cooper shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. Uh, there he is. Man, he's angry at me. My, there you are. I can't believe you took my gosh dang shell. I can't swear in the first three minutes or in the first five minutes. There is, I have to take stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show these fuzzies what's what. Yo, bruh, where'd you got your shell back? Calm down. Nah. What? Yeah, my shell, but you won't give it back? What's the matter with you? That's just plain cruel. Please give it back to me. A Koopa without a shell is like a really unhappy Koopa. Oh. It's not gonna say any dialogue. Yeah, people don't realize if you just press the B button on this, you can deny giving them, or you can deny giving people their items back. Oh yes, yes. This is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, yeah. Got my shell back, uh huh. You're the greatest, Mario. Are you big time? Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. 
Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? It's not a state. Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer of the Colorado River. Right, well, I live next to him. Man, imagine living next to Colorado. It probably smells like pot over there. <laughs> I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think, could I... Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Nah. Oh, come on. You gotta. I have lots of skills. I work well with others. Really, please, take me along. Nah. Oh, come on. You gotta. Aw. No more new dialogue. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm on my way. I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anyway, even to the ends of the earth. Cooper, join your party. Press down to make him throw himself and reach an item or switch in the distance. While in battle, you can attack an enemy on the ground with shell toss. Or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. He also gets, a uh, The... Dizzy shell. Which is actually pretty useful for, uh, some bosses. Which doesn't really, uh, matter for some of them. Because, uh, most of them are flying. But it's still neat to know that, uh... That he can use the Dizzy Shell and uh, ground enemies that are weak to it. When you want to switch your partner, press bleh and select the member you want to use. New York! I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? And now you have to face four of them at a time, I think. Yep. Remember, remember about the power block I told you to keep? Yeah, don't use it here. <laughs> There's no point. These fuzzies aren't that hard. The ones that you have to really worry about are the ones that come in later chapters. Nope. Too soon. Too late. Oh. Pretty lucky. I say I'm really good at it and then I immediately start failing it. That's what the Let's Play Curse does. Actually, I think I'm a lot better with, um, Thousand Year Door because, uh, the super guarding for the fuzzies is a lot easier than, uh, doing the guard for them. Which, which is weird to say because, like, for me, the super guarding with the fuzzies is... I do it a lot sooner than I think I should, probably should, and that makes it so where, like... I do it a lot easier. It's, it's really hard to explain. When we do a thousand year door in like, I don't know, December or something. I say December, it's gonna be a while. I don't wanna have, I don't wanna play through a series back to back to back. I'm not one of those, uh, we'll be good, we'll be good. I'm not one of those, uh, video essay kind of people who can play games back to back to back. Hell, I I have a problem playing games for like longer than I, I absolutely have to. There. Always I always use bass points to get uh the HP upgrade. When I get uh the flower plus, that's when I'm gonna do the flower flower plus. But for now, I'm gonna do the HP plus. And now Koopa Village is back to where it used to be. And now there's a star piece up there. <gasps> Chuck Cosmo! Quiz! Chuck Cosmo's the name and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. You managed to answer my brain busting questions correctly then. Yeah. Yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of Gubaru's younger sister? Gumbaria. Good choice. <laughs> Here's your star piece. It went from... It went from, like, some super, like... Excited hippie to Professor Oak. 
you correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. <laughs> Wait, uh... Oh, yeah, I can't get that now. But later I can get what I'm thinking of. Anyway, it's time to go head out. Hit the save block. First things first, though. Let me head in here. I could probably get one later, but I'm gonna just buy one now. And... I'm gonna fire flower to you. Oh. Fine, I'll just wait on the fi fire flower then. Check. I'm gonna put the dizzy dial away. I'm gonna put the fright jar away. Legume nut away. And the sleepy sheep. There. That is it. Next, I think. Hold on. I have to actually pause to see this. Not close? Yeah, I should probably go use the toad house. In this game, you don't even have to pay to use uh healing. You can just heal it anytime you go to a toad house or you find a heal block. Which is a bit more convenient, but honestly, if they made you pay to do a toad house, that'd be fine. There we go. Effect Fadge B. Every time I get one of these, I'm gonna just equip them. If I'm gonna have, if I'm gonna have the effect badges, I'm gonna have all of them on. It costs no FP to you, so it make it makes it, it it makes no sense why you wouldn't want to do it like that. Change the Goombario because he is, wow, because he can actually jump on enemies. Speaking of which, do that, then do a power jump. <laughs> That's just gonna get annoying. But I love it. If I can't be annoying, then what am I? Because everybody knows nobody watches me because I'm entertaining. <laughs> they watch me because I annoy the crap out of them and they prefer masochism versus over anything else. I got all the FP I use back, and more money. Hold on. This will be useful later on too. What I also like about Cooper is you could just do that. And get rid of all the enemies. He's basically just a screen nuke at this point. That only does two damage. When you upgrade him later on, uh, he will do three damage. And that's a lot more useful. Hit the blue switch. Since we have to backtrack through this area anyways when we go finish the chapter, that's when I'll get the star piece at the very beginning. Whoops. At least you can dodge at the very beginning here. Instead of having to deal with uh, taking the one damage but then again it doesn't really matter that much I because like the enemies don't really do that much damage anyways so if you get hit by a first strike and it takes uh, health away then it's honestly fine in my book I could do a power shell here but I don't want to use up the FP for it plus the Koopa's gonna struggle anyways and then I'm gonna just finish off this turn
The only thing that they really improved on with like the first attacks in Paper Mario The Thousand Door, like I said in the previous episode, is being able to uh, use your action commands when you do it. But it doesn't take anything away if you, uh, there we go. I need the fire, fire flower for later. But it honestly doesn't take anything away from doing it uh, now. Or not being able to do it now. Do that. Then use a power shell to give it to all the enemies in one turn. I thought I did it a hair too soon. That would have been terrible, because then it would have done all one damage. Anyways. Sharpies. Shoot. We're almost at the Cooper Bros. Fortress. I... We still have like half the episode left from here on. So I should... I'll be able to do like most of the Koopa Bros. Fortress. Get you down. What is it? I think it's the sewers that does the dizzy Koopas. The dizzy Koopa Troopas. AKA just the dark Koopa Troopas. Yeah, I can't attack them anyways this turn. I think I also think we get a uh, FP plus badge in this uh, dungeon, quote unquote. I can't really call them dungeons though, really. Can I call them dungeons? I guess they are big places where you get treasure and stuff like that in order to progress. So they do technically count as dungeons. But no matter, we get a level up. Julio, Julio. Wait, this past the first 10 minutes. Fuck China. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Now I'm no longer allowed in Hong Kong. Now that clickbaity title is makes more sense. <laughs> the safe block. Is there anything? Nope. Whoa, Mario, what the? Oh, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa! Oh, Donatello! I honestly haven't watched uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a while, so I don't know which one's Le Leonardo, which I think is actually the red one. I think Donatello is the yellow one. And the Michelangelo is the blue one. I don't know what the green one is. And when I was saying the Ninja Turtles, I almost said Power Rangers, and that would have been really bad. <laughs> also, fun fact, uh, if you use your hammer on the bombs, even, if, even though they technically blow up near you, uh, you don't get damaged by it. It's only when you physically touch him to blow him up is when you get damage from it. The key for the fortress. Oop, I almost did it perfectly. Wow, that counted? <laughs> oh, that counted as a jump. <laughs> I guess uh, Mario hit the bomb before Cooper did. Do nothing. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not uh, tattling on these bombs, or the bomb bombs, it's because it doesn't matter how much HP they you do, or how much damage you do, if you hit them twice, they just blow up anyways. So the HP doesn't matter. You only do that just so you know like how much damage they do. But their bombs do, I think, four damage if you let it, let them get it off. Which is why you kind of don't want to have them explode. 
which is specifically why the do nothing command actually is here because if they forced you attack that would be cheap and none of your attacks can't do no damage can't do no damage I, I don't even know what that means like literally I could just do that and I get the same amount of star points either way And there were, that's the loop point. It probably sounds way off. I, I actually don't know because when I'm talking, it looks like it's roughly in the same, but it's probably just slightly delayed. So in editing, I'll try to see if I can match it up there. Ha! Let's see the great Mario get any farther now. Geek! Mario! You, uh, don't try any- you're You'll still never find your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya! Looks like there might be some fighting here. Immediately just doesn't hurt me at all. This is Koopa Technically, if you want to save frames, uh, you would have to use a power jump because then you save a lot of frames with the jump animation, but that only really works for uh, single enemies. There we go. See? See what I mean? It doesn't matter how much damage you do. I'm trying to prove what I'm saying is right, like, don't, like anybody really cares. Nobody cares what I have to say. You're not watching a video I say. You're watching a Let's Player play a goddamn 20-year-old game. <laughs> there we go. I do have to say, I have a bit of a problem like trying to do the thing on uh, more floaty enemies. Because I always hit it too soon, thinking that, oh, it's just going to descend faster. But no, they stay in the air for quite a bit. I'm just not going to do anything there. I think, funnily enough, if you wait for just a perfect frame to do the left, you actually can do it there. Also, cheat. Power bounce. Not that one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. How much does power bounce do need? Two. I'm keeping a close call on. There we go. Haha! -ha. That sounded so delayed. I said it way too late. I don't even know why. I. <laughs> this episode's just terrible. I'm so sorry. And now. There's also a reason why, uh. This is actually kinda late. Like I said, I, I forgot to record it yesterday, but then I also had a, a bad morning. I got to work immediately, and then there's just a customer that just started yelling at me for no reason. I was trying to be kind, and, like, they just started yelling at me. But, oh well. If people want to be mean, they'll just be mean. There's... Why? Sorry, I had a box there. If people want to be mean, they, they'll just be mean. You can't do anything that make them not be mean. But after that happened, I had a nice good cry in the bathroom, so. <laughs> God, I wish I was lying. Come on. And power shell.
Actually, technically, if I wanted to get rid of all these enemies at once, I would use a power block and then uh, use Cooper. Because they have 3 HP. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but they have 3 HP. There is a bit of a uh, cheat that you could do here. I don't know how you're supposed to do it, but you can force yourself down to the very bottom. I know speedrunners do it just so they don't have to sit through this awful stare animation. Also, you want to head this way first. There's an enemy gauntlet. You want to have Gumbario out. Because they're all Koopas. Now to save me some headache, I'm just going to down all the Koopas here. So how are you doing? Today is August 6th, I think, if I remember correctly. I stayed up until like midnight last night working on something. So I honestly don't know what day it is. I can actually just check right now. Today is the 6th, yeah. It's 9.25 a.m. at my time, and I used to upload these uh, at 12 o'clock p.m. my time. So I have about a, a bit to edit which honestly isn't that difficult because it takes like uh, just like a few minutes of just editing because I don't cut out the battles I don't do anything super special with these anyway other than like the very ending animation and since I'm only recording in like 720p 30 FPS I could technically bring it down to 480 because that's what this game is running in but I think 7 uh 20p actually looks a bit better than the 480p version so it takes only about like two minutes to render like a 30 minute episode of this and then uploading it takes about like half an hour which is just strange to say but i mean 1080p at 60 fps takes me about like an hour to upload because my upload speed is just absolutely terrible I can stream uh, 720p 60 frames per second on Twitch, though. So that doesn't really uh, bother me that much. Which is, th or suffice to say, that I probably should go and go back to streaming on uh, Twitch. So now that I cut my hours back to only 20 hours a week, so I, j I do have a bit of time that I can use the stream some days, but. If I do, it would have to be like roughly now when it's like early in the morning and nobody's home. Because I don't want any background noise. I mean, you are technically hearing my fan background noise. But that's because it's super hot here. I, li I live in the desert, by the way. I do like this effect, though. That is a really nice effect. I, I wish more games did that. Oh yeah, my favorite part about this game right here. The jump rope minigame. Oh, when I forget that one is bleeping like bleeping. Yes, yeah, one is bleeping like that. It's just cursing at me. Whoop. That was too soon. I keep doing it too soon. There we go. You gain a lot of money from that. I don't think you can grind it either if you leave and come back. Can you? You probably can't. Otherwise, that'd be a really good uh, money grinding spot right there. But I think it gives you 10 coins each time. You need the key anyways, just so you can... Oop, not this way. This is just so you can talk to your next party member right up there. 
Anyway, she, you have to go that way in order to get the key so you can come up here and get tricked by, uh, blue Koopa? Yellow Koopa. This is just funny. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here. He's, he's doing something up there. can't do anything over there and there's no point coming out here because oh there is the same block all right everybody that'll be the end for this episode of paper mario in the next episode yellow koopa's just gonna trick us and he's gonna call us a fucking nitwit <laughs> and then we're gonna meet our next party member and then i think we're gonna get either finishing the chapter or pretty close i might just finish the chapter to be honest because we're gonna be so close to it anyways that there's no point in uh saving it for later and then i could do like the chapter and elude the episode after that so anyways this has been tyler with pocket and i'll see you guys in the next episode of paper mario that i'm gonna record tomorrow <laughs> thank you all for watching Bye bye time to go start editing like immediately <laughs>